Welcome to another MCQ discussion video and this question was asked in NEET PG around AVG and a clinical case was given and AVG values are given and you are asked to comment on the acid base abnormality seen in this patient. So AVG questions have been very frequently being asked in PG entrance examination and students find it very very difficult. But I am going to give you a very simple algorithm and if you use that algorithm you will be able to solve any AVG question in less than 15 to 20 seconds. 100% accuracy. So I'm going to teach you that algorithm and then we will come back and use that algorithm to solve this question in less than 15-20 seconds. Now before I proceed and tell you that algorithm I will want you to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any you know MCQs on critical topics on high yield topics you get a notification. So let's quickly learn about that algorithm. Whenever an APG is given to you there are three basic questions which you have to answer. Number one is if it is acidosis or alkalosis. So this is the first question you have to answer about any ABG. The second is what is the main pathology? So the main pathology is it respiratory in nature or is it metabolic in nature? The third question which you have to answer is how much compensation has happened? Is it uncompensated? Is it partially compensated okay. or is it completely compensated? Okay, so if these three questions you are able to answer, you will be able to answer any AVG question. Before I move forward and tell you about how to answer these three questions, there is a very basic concept which I want to talk to you about. Remember, carbon dioxide represents acid. Okay. So whenever carbon dioxide is increasing, there is acidosis and whenever carbon dioxide is decreasing, there is alkalosis. Very easy to remember. Reverse is bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is your base. Okay. So whenever bicarbonate is increasing, it is alkalosis and whenever bicarbonate is decreasing, it is acidosis. So if you remember this basic, now I will introduce you to the algorithm. That how do you answer these three questions? And if you answer these three questions, any question on ABG will be a cakewalk for you. So the first thing is whenever you are given an ABG, the first thing you should look at is the pH. And the moment you look at the pH, you can easily tell if it is a case of acidosis or is it a case of alkalosis. And remember, if it is if the pH is normal, then whatever the pathology it is, it is a completely compensated. Okay, so if it is acidosis, it has been completely compensated. If it is an alkalosis, if it has been completely compensated. So what is the normal pH? The normal pH we know the normal pH is seven point three five to seven point four five. Okay, so if the pH is more then it will be alkalosis. If the pH is less than 7.35, it will be acidosis. So your first question you have answered. Okay. Now the second question is you have to answer where the pathology is respiratory or metabolic. Okay. So remember it is very easy to rule out respiratory. Okay. Or it is, it is very easy to identify respiratory. For example, if it is a respiratory acidosis, what should happen to the PCO2? I have I told you that PCO2 should increase. So if the PCO2 is increasing, it is respiratory acidosis. If the PCO2 is either decreasing or even normal, then it is a case of metabolic because only two things are there. Either if it, if it is not respiratory, it will be metabolic. Okay. So then it will be metabolic acidosis. So always rule out the respiratory and this is the trick. Look at the PCO2. If the PCO2 is increasing in a case of acidosis, it is a respiratory acidosis. Otherwise, it is a metabolic acidosis. Similarly, in alkalosis, the PCO2 should decrease. So if the PCO2 is decreasing, it is a metabolic. Sorry, if it, the PCO2 is decreasing, it is a respiratory alkalosis. Otherwise, if the PCO2 is increasing or normal, it is a metabolic alkalosis. Clear? So we have answered your second question. 
very simple look at the ph you decide acidosis alkalosis then look at the pco2 if the P, if it is a case of acidosis pco2 is increasing respiratory acidosis if it is a case of you know alkalosis if the pco2 is decreasing respiratory alkalosis otherwise reverse metabolic acidosis so metabolic acidosis and alkalosis is always by exclusion okay so we have answered the second question now talk about the compensation now remember when we talk about can compensation we know there is primary pathology can be respiratory or primary pathology can be metabolic okay now when we talk about this compensation okay when we talk about the compensation if it is a respiratory cause the compensation will happen by bicarbonate okay and if the cause is metabolic the compensation will happen by increase or decrease of carbon dioxide it's a very simple thing in respiratory cases carbon dioxide is elevated or decreased okay so the bicarbonate has to move into the opposite direction okay so in completely compensated is very easy to judge because the p the ph will come to normal so if the ph is come to normal okay then it is a completely compensated case if the ph is not normal then it can be uncompensated or partially compensated now how do we decide that so for example let's say there is a case of a respiratory acidosis okay the compensation will happen by increase of bicarbonate because acid is increasing so bicarbonate will increase so if the bicarbonate level is more than the normal it is a partially compensated and if the bicarbonate level is within the normal it, it is uncompensated similarly in case of a respiratory alkalosis okay the bicarbonate level should come down if the bicarbonate level is below the normal value okay then it is partially compensated if the bicarbonate level is within the normal level, it is uncompensated let's talk about metabolic so metabolic the carbon dioxide will have to increase or decrease so if it is a metabolic acidosis the carbonate should uh, carbon dioxide should come down so if the carbon dioxide is less than the normal it is partially compensated if it is normal it is non compensated and vice versa so this is how you will answer it now let me take you to the question so that you can very confidently answer it so let's look at the question i'll not look at anything so ph is 7.22 this gives us the first answer that this is a case of acidosis clear mark my words it will take you less than 15 seconds because the normal ph is 7.35 to 7.45 okay immediately what i told you that because it is acidosis what will you will look at the pco2 so pco2 is this now you see that the pco2 is decreased but if it is respiratory acidosis the pco2 should have increased so definitely it is not respiratory acidosis so it will become metabolic so the correct answer is metabolic acidosis let's talk about compensation also now if it is metabolic acidosis what will be the compensatory mechanism carbon dioxide and because it is acidosis carbon dioxide should decrease so if you see in this question the carbon dioxide has actually decreased so it is partially compensated why not completely compensated because if it was completely compensated your ph should have come to the normal okay so now you can see in less than 15 seconds you can answer it looked at the ph 5 seconds you decide acidosis alkalosis you looked at the pco2 you decided respiratory or metabolic and you looked at the compensatory mechanism and decided if it is normal below normal above normal and decided if the compensation was happening so the correct answer in this case will be metabolic acidosis so the correct answer is b metabolic acidosis so this is how you will be able to solve any apg question in less than 15 seconds if you like this mcq discussion make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon because i'm going to post very critical questions conceptual questions as a part of our mcq discussion series